Hello, it's Monday, August 23rd, 2010. My name's Des Woodruff. I am the president and founder of freetradingvideos.com incorporated and I am an analyst and, and also a mentor for Grok Trade. We're looking at the S&P daily right now and the markets, if you look, take a look at this, um, the market started off very strong this morning. We were up I have 70 points, 80 points, something like that. Um, I think knocking at the door 70 points on the Dow. But by day's end, the last half hour, last hour of the day, we just come crashing back down, giving it all back. And you see that we're down 0.4% uh, on the Dow. The S&P is 0.4%. And more than that on the NASDAQ and Russell's leading the charge to the downside. And the VIX did end up going up here. We are above 25 after market hours at the time of this video is right at the close. We continue with bearish activity on the futures. And we do have on the bank, which are the uh, banks, all the banks in the NASDAQ tallied. It's like 430 or so banks and, and the financials are down quite a bit more than everything else you can see right here. So keep an eye on that. Here we are looking at the daily chart. I have a lot of lines on here. So let's pay special attention to what's taking place. We have this big triangle, this pinching pattern that's coming into fruition and it's developing a um, strength and power. And what we want to do is watch for either a break to the upside or a break to the downside of these big thick trend lines that we have. We're watching that very closely. I put a couple little smaller trend lines. You'll see these tiny ones. So we have a little falling wedge. So in this case, if we come down, it wouldn't surprise me to see us come down, test some of this area and find major support right here in the next day or two. And then I could see us bouncing back up. But what we're watching for is a break below and a significant close below this trend line. If we get that, uh, we're in we're in a lot of trouble, gang. However, if we bounce here, come up here, and then crack over, it needs to get over this 1116 mark that we've been watching for a long time. If it could get over that, wow, and markets aren't ready to break down yet. Bank of America uh, saying today that with the uh, tax cut expiration uh, may spell another double dip in the recession. And I'll tell you, as far as the technicals are concerned, gang, um, it just doesn't look that great out there. Here's the monthly. I'm going to pull that up for us just to take a look at. You can see the pinching pattern taking place here. On this green candlestick, we should have went up here and tagged this. We didn't. So far for the month, we made a higher high and higher low, but we're not. We didn't get up there to this level. That level should have put us somewhere around this 1150 mark, but we haven't got up there. So um, that's showing some relative weakness as far as the monthly is concerned. If we crack down here, like I said, whoa, uh, that could be nasty and bad. But here's the weekly. Here's the weekly looking at the S and P. I mean, we. I mean, big triangle, big big triangle across the board. And I don't know if you're hearing it from anybody else out there, but you're hearing it um, from me. You're hearing it from. You're hearing it from us here at Grok Trade. But check this out. I mean, we're pulling back there and we have a nice little support area. It wouldn't surprise me for the week to get a little bounce here. But if we break down, whoa to the markets. So there you have it. And if you haven't noticed yet today, we just unveiled the brand new forum. So get in there and start posting away. You have to be a registered member to do so. And on our website, we use real names, real first and last names. We do not use aliases. So if you're not comfortable with that, don't register and you can um, participate by lurking and just read and do whatever. But if you want to be a participant, uh, we uh, we just ask that you come in and be part of the community and, um, and enjoy yourself. And uh, start posting in there, and you're going to get a lot of people reading your um, posts. So, um, and we're looking for a lot of activity. The other website, freetrainingvideos.com, that forum will be coming in next. It will be read only. No, um, it is not, and you can search through that, but you're not going to be able to post to that one anymore. So, any threads that you had going over there, just get them started in the new one. So, thank you. Take care. Safe trading to each and every one of you.